All right, uh, hello everyone. Just a quick, uh, quick video here today. You all know that I have been looking around and how we can, um, well, hack is not the right word, but uh, just configure our bikes, our zero bikes. I've been sharing how you can make these OBD2 connectors. I won't call it a breakthrough yet, but we have some more information on how the authentication works. So this is the port. If you don't have the, the power tank, then this port is just a bit uh, lower. It's relocated with the power tank. I don't know all the details, but I did try the, the password that was leaked for uh, the older models with uh, this SRF and that doesn't work. But then uh, I won't put out any other names. Zero is already watching me, so I, I couldn't care less about what their actions will be. This is my bike. I think I have the right to try stuff on it. People contacted me with uh, information. For the moment we have like a pool of around four different Zero SRF and SRS models that we can try stuff on and experiment with and that way with all the input gathered so it's not at all my own discovery or so. It's something that uh, again the community is uh, working on. Um, the thing that we discovered so far is that it's using a so-called uh, OTP one-time password. So. It's a system like um, if you have two-factor authentication on your email, just one of the multiple implementations that exist, then you get an SMS with a code and that code entered will give you the security that you need. It's in a similar way that the Zero works, the new Zero, the SRF and the SRS. So if you enter, I'll put some um, text, some examples here. Uh, you can use it at your own risk. While well, there's not much ri risk involved at the moment, there doesn't seem to be a limit on the attempts. And that's one of the issues that they have. It looks like you could easily brute force it because there is no uh, limited amount of tries. But if you enter login tool, then, and that's typically what an, uh, a technician would do, and then all the tools that they use would do in the background. And then I'm, well, our guess is for the moment that you, you get a challenge on the screen and our guess is that the applications connect to a service to retrieve a challenge. We've been looking around at uh, what challenges we get and it looks like we get a, a new challenge every day. So that means that uh, the challenge is time-based. It also seems to be specific to every bike. So we don't know yet if it's VIN based or not. It's a six position digit, so numbers. The response is also six digits. I mentioned before that it's not limited in, uh, in attempts. So you could simply write a script that just echoes zero up to in a loop to nine, 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 well, the six positions. Then you can read the response back from the bike. You'll probably be able to brute force the challenge that you should enter that day. I, I will post what the uh, response is when you enter a wrong uh, password, but I also share the response that you get when you enter up the right response. That's of course the one that you would have to look into and as soon as you receive that one you would have to break the script. Yeah, for the moment it's, it's not that we hacked it already. We have a limited group of some users that are trying stuff. Of course if this would have been for instance on the PlayStation selling millions, it would have been hacked already today or an iPhone selling millions because this is uh, such a limited group of people riding electric. It will probably take some more time to get uh, this figured out. Ah, and that's what I wanted to mention. Sadly, it's um, bike and time specific. So uh, unless we find out what server it connects to and how it gets those responses, I don't think it's feasible to brute force every time you would want to do a change. I wouldn't recommend brute forcing it every time. But if anyone wants to help out, feel free to contact us and uh, we'll share what we have for now. Thanks for watching.